everything in life, you don't realize until you look back, it's all little things that will kind of like, I add all these ingredients to become who you are now. Is our success self-made? Or does community and fate decide our paths? In this episode of Capturing the Internet, we follow Denny Balmaceda, a creative who's carved out a unique career from his eclectic experiences. And Paola Franchi, also known as Moneris, a world-traveling photographer who's built a dedicated fan base online with modern tools and a lot of passion. I started my photography journey about six years ago. It was something that pretty much happened. My parents got divorced when I was 14 years old. And my mom told me, we're moving to America. It was very hard for me because I had to come to a, to a, to a place where I didn't know the language. I didn't have any friends here, but that didn't stop me. My mom is a, a person of faith and she was like, you're gonna be okay. And she was okay. A friend lent her his camera and she instantly fell in love with photography. Since I couldn't communicate, I used that photography as a way of me to express myself. Back then, I didn't have a camera, so I started using, you know, taking photos with just my iPhone. With only an iPhone and YouTube, Moneris' photography began to gain traction in the online community. So I was just like going on YouTube and trying to learn like new things. Um, I, I remember feeling immersed in this whole, you know, world of photography where everybody was using that platform to showcase their art. And, you know, I started building my followers. I started meeting more and more people. The community was so beautiful back then. Things in my life just came as an accident, like um, a good accident that shaped me to who I am. Hey, hey what's up, guys? This is uh, the first episode of our Look Red Shop Cheap. It's based on my blog, it's now a web series. Everyone's good looking now and everyone's stylish, but what, what, what story do you have to offer? Because that's the only difference that you have left from other people is your story. Denny's story started out with difficult circumstances beyond his control. As a child, he was an undocumented immigrant from the Philippines. So imagine having all of that on your, like the weight of all of that, knowing you're adopted and knowing you're undocumented and then heading into school. So Denny found ways to get that weight off his shoulders with creative expression. I have this side, this artistic side, you know. Even the way I dress, I would just um, wear whatever I want and not really go for the trendy things and just always outside the box. I'm inspired by movies a lot because I used to work at a video store when I was younger. So I like to kind of present all my photos like it's a scene from a movie because I like having a story. What are you most picky about though? Like, like angles? Angles. Like um, um, scenery. I hate having people in the background. So I see this thing, I really like um, the colors with her top. It's like mustard, it's, it has a little bit more of a vintage, like rustic vibe with it. So I think that's gonna, I'll probably have you sit and um, I'll take your camera. I always wanna have control of, of everything. That's how I am in life, you know, and I feel like when, when I'm in front of the camera, I'm losing that control. Oh, so hot. Everyday moments, we, we take them for granted. When I'm out, you know, walking the streets, capturing moments, I'm looking for this connection, that human emotion, right? And I'm always there trying to capture life as it happens. My approach with portraiture is just to make it as cinematic as possible. Even when it's something so simple as just capturing someone else's yeah, portrait, I'm like, time. every time I, I'm doing that, I'm already thinking about the edit. You know, how it's gonna oh look, God, how am I gonna make it look like a movie? Moneris's cinematic photography style has helped her build a large online following and turn her passion into a full-time career. I took a leap of faith quitting my job almost three years ago. Life changed for me. I started to get more and more opportunities. I remember telling my, my wife, um, I was like, you know that there's people that get to travel the world and take photos for a living? That's all they do. And she was like, maybe one day you're gonna be able to do that.
Denny doesn't take anything for granted either. Throughout his life, he's turned circumstances into learning opportunities. Like, you know, I was undocumented. I had to get jobs that's under the table. One day I walked into this thrift store um, and then this woman, she was just like, I like your energy. You look like you know what you're doing. Uh, would you work here? And I'm just like, hell yeah. That's where I discovered um, the blogging because I would bring my camera with me and just document my outfits every day. And I would post on Facebook and just posting con consistently just kind of grew a following. So one of my friends told me like, yo, there's this site where you could post your outfits every day. It took me like a year to become number one from the whole world. And that was like hundreds of thousands of users. Social media changed a lot of things. Or I now have my own vintage shop with my buddy and um, it's going really well. It's been a year and we've already had a lot of um, loyal customers and um, you kind of, you already established yourself as this brand. What's up, Denny? Yo, what's up? Long time Dan. Oh, you Denny. Oh wait, what was your name? Paolo. Paolo, nice to meet you. Yes, you too. Well, that's why I'm so optimistic, even though my life was so hard growing up, because I feel like um, being optimistic and being positive all the time will always bring back positive energy. Without the internet, I don't think I would be here today because everything that I've learned is mostly because of it. One of the things that I'm most grateful for is the community that I've been able to build and that to this day still supports me 100%. You know, wow. Okay, those are sick. And now I'm at a point in my life and in my career where I'm able to help other female creators. Like I'm Puerto Rican. I love my country. I love, you know, what it represents. And I'm always trying to pave the way also for Puerto Ricans as well that, that comes here without knowing the language, without any help. You know, if I, if I did it, anyone can do it as well. Six years ago, I did not picture myself being here today. I just released my first photo book. I'm also a Sony and Lightroom ambassador. And this is something that I've been wanting to do ever since I started my, my photography journey. And I feel it's like a huge accomplishment, but I always felt like I wasn't ready. Like, um, like not yet, not yet. Until this year, I said to myself, if we wait for things to happen, you know, you're never gonna feel ready. And I'm even busier than ever with my, my own career as a blogger because it's no longer like you're just there because you needed to fill a quota. Like you're there because you're there. And that feels so dope. I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, honestly. I, I used to think a lot about the future and what I wanted to do. I'm doing what I love now and, and I'm not looking back. You know, it's just like it, that was meant to happen. Things, you know, happen the way that they're meant to happen. And, and, and just I'm just so grateful to be here. To find success, artists must take risks, push through insurmountable obstacles, and seize the opportunities they're given. But no one does it alone. Whether it's their blood family or their chosen family, artists need real communities and support. The internet makes it easier than ever to find those communities and to find inspiration, mentorship, fans. It allows self-made creatives like Denny and Paula to lean into their passions and turn them into successful careers. So I have all my favorite pieces tattooed. Really? Edward Scissorhands. That is one of my all time favorites. Uh, Boogie Nights. That is sick. And this is like Desperado. Please don't cry. Yeah, the cure.